serious pulp, pulp. Not bad, but uh, <laughs> bad. It would have been a shame to have left that behind. You got the supply, I got the domain. Mother and father perished at last. Finally now, our anguish may pass. Why, that's the dwarven sound device Sindri used during the Battle of Ragnarok. We might still find use for it yet. What shall we talk about? Hello, Radatasker. Hello, Master Kratos. What you've accomplished for these realms is truly something I never thought possible. Uh, rest assured, good Master Brock would be proud beyond measure, even if only to express it in his love language of profane non sequiturs. Ah, but he is terribly missed. Yes, he is. Now, there is one rather interesting development to apprise you of. The detonation of Asgard shook the world tree to its very roots dislodging a great number of realm seeds. I thought you might wish to have them. My little way of saying, thank you for preventing my death by immolation. You are welcome. Now, what else might there be to discuss? The little ones are growing up so fast, it brings a tear to my eye. How are they coming along? I think they're almost starting to recognize me as their father and not their appetizer. I believe one or two of them may even know how to say my name. Or rather, scream it. More of a... <laughs> but it's not far off. Must be tough being a parent. It has its ups and downs, but after a few ages pass, I'm certain they'll start to take a liking to me. There's no rush. Baby dragon steps. Master Kratos knows what I'm speaking of. No. He knows what I'm speaking of. Well, stay safe, everyone. 
Yes, we'll be moving along to other things now, you honking dingbat. Now, I know it's hard being here without them, but I'm sure old Brock would hmm. be glad Time to you're feed my kids. And I'm sure Sindri, wherever he is, would appreciate you tidying up after yourself. Now, go ahead. I wonder if Sindri will ever come back. Can this place ever feel like a home after what happened here? I never thought I'd miss their bickering. But it's really not the same place without those two, is it? We will maintain it until his return. Ah! <laughs> 
thought his berserkers were tough, well, I've been thinking about what you said, brother. Maybe it's time to let this go. Slurping up a dead man's soul with this old sword isn't gonna change the past. It is good to hear you say that, but I plan to face him regardless. What? After all your lecturing on vengeance and spite, it is not wise to let a malevolent spirit want to make guard. But I needed to know you wanted this for the right reasons. Huh. Appreciate the sentiment, brother. Should we try to tell her what happened? She knows. Heading back to Charlie? Yes. He's not gonna be very happy with me. No. excuse for neglecting you. I will do my best to earn it. Is someone inside? Yes. Warming up already, isn't it? Birger. Hello. What are you doing here? Keeping warm. Both of us. It is your home, if you wish me to leave. No. It's good that he has someone. Will you stay? There is still much to be done. 
Then we will wait. And when it is time to rest, I will keep the hearth warm. Thank you, Birger. King Hulf's gravestone. It's reformed. Yes, there's only one thing left to do. Oh! 
Just come with my god. Stop! 
sure if that was justice or vengeance. The two are not always at up. Tend to do with Skofnung now. I intend to use it. No! Don't you understand the legacy that thing carries? Not to mention the souls of evil berserkers. I will use it for good. That won't erase its history. No. But the story of this sword is still being written. Future generations will weigh its good deeds against the bad and decide for themselves. You've come a long way from when I first met you, brother. I have had good counsel since then, brother. Stomach, it'd be twisting right now. Odin is gone. There's no remaining threat. No, no, it's from excitement. Hardly any non giants have gotten the great privilege of visiting the realm of the Jotnar. It's truly an honor to be among a very select few. So, this is Jotunheim. As beautiful as the stories, and then some. Companies here, Ben. Kratos, Vimir, Freya, it's good to see you. I wish to thank you for creating a path out of Asgard for us. Aye, a true pleasure to meet the lassie who saved our skins. Indeed. Your giant stuff magic is truly a marvel. We were so glad we got there in time. Freya, your brother's sacrifice won't be forgotten. It won't. I will say, you've made quite the impression on our Atreus's heart. Vimir. Oh, like you weren't thinking it, brother. Ahem. 
You're a cherished ally, Engraboda. I hope we cross paths again. <laughs> I imagine we will. There's lots to do, and I'm just getting started. Kratos, the last time you were here was because of Faye, right? You saw this in prophecy. Your son told me. It's a beautiful place to rest. It is what she wished. You painted these shrines. Some of them. Some I finished for my mother. Your work is beautiful. Your skill with a brush is unmatched, Angerboda. My son, he draws. He told me. Although he'd do well to learn from your use of color. We come from a long line of artisans, so he has it in him. He just needs some discipline to bring it out. <laughs> I like you.
Omega Buddha. You are the last giant left in Jotunheim. No, actually. My grandmother, Gryla. She's, um, not really one for visitors, but she's still here. She's helping me forage at the moment. After all you've done, lass, she must be so proud to have a granddaughter such as yourself. She... She might be. Someday. I don't know quite yet, but I think it's a start. Beautiful. The flower. Incredible. 